Hey everybody, I'm Spectral Star, and welcome back to the wonderful, scary, extremely depressing, neck-kissing world of Vampire. Secret Vampire Kiss Attack Mode. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where we gotta go here. Alright, so apparently we've got to protect the Pembroke Hospital from ultimate doom. Get our butts kicked by a vampire earlier. I don't know if I should re-attack him or just... i yeah, just ignore him. Eh, you know what, fuck it. We'll kill him. Maybe. Haha, <laughs> suck you dry. Eat dicks. Ow. Oh, he's tough. Oh my god. Okay. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out. We run. We out. We out. We can't take this. Jesus. Everybody's hitting us like. like wow. Maybe I'm weak. Maybe I'm too weak for this shit. <laughs> oh, hey, that button works now. I swear it didn't work. What the hell am I? Maybe I'm just a little bit too weak for what this. Is this truck? Yep. Are the vampire hunters here already? Um, sure. I mean, how's the district? Does it not want to say? It's healthy, I assume. But you know what assuming does. Hey. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Uh. You know what? Maybe Please I got some money. You have to sell. Of course. It's just yeah, yeah, just, and curio. I mean, we've already talked to him enough to know what he wants to sell us, so let's just make it quick. Uh, 598. You know what? I'm going to save my money. I don't think he has anything to say. He would have said something, I would assume. But then again, assuming, you know what that does. So let's go talk to Dr. Swansea, I guess. That's how I feel in the morning when I wake up. The hell is that? Do not cough in public. Uh oh. The coronavirus is spilling over into my let's plays. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Does he have any stuff? Where is Edgar? Why are all the other doctors here besides him? What in the fuck? Did I miss something? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Johnson. Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. Um. Oh, he's went upstairs. Okay. Oopstairs. What does another needle do? Doesn't do shit. You know, I want to check the rest of this place out. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that just, yeah, goes right. That yeah connects. Yeah. Yeah. Are these mirrors? Why is there friggin' mirrors? This is something. Did they have elevators back in these days? By the way, I don't know what happened, but the loading screen is infinitely faster now. I literally did nothing to fix it. Literally did nothing. I've been too busy with school. About to be certified. I'll shut up now. Ooh. Ultraviolet curtains and Ori Ultraviolet. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. 
I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Hmm. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Oh shit, a boss fight, huh? Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. What? The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. And... This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Now close your eyes. What the... This is gonna hurt. Uh... Okay, this is weird. Ow. I might be too weak for this. Hopefully it'll start me from the beginning of the boss fight. If not, then that's probably for the best. Okay, let's try this one more time, and if there's no chance, then there's no chance. I wish there were some rats here. I'm starting to miss the rats, even though I say... Try something else. Now give me some of that precious King Arthur blood. Ay, ay, ay. I might have a chance. Here, take one of these, buddy. That'll feel good. Okay, this, I might be able to do this. Just don't get hit. Show some style. Show some style. What do you think this is? Fashion? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why does simple night burn you so much? Oh my God! I'm fucking dead. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. Come on, man, get out of the sun. Come on, Reed. This is bullshit. Oh god. Holy fuck. Um I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a plan. I'm going to use a gun. I'm not going to use it right off the bat. I'm going to try to wait till like the second phase of the fight. But as far as I know, I've read up and this character is super weak to guns. Which makes sense because he's a human being. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into the madness. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Let, let's try it out. <laughs> Oh wow. Holy crap, that does do a lot. Put you down. Got 
but he still does a ton of damage. Uh, he's pinned me in here. Dude, he does not give a crap. He does not give a crap. Alright, I will be back after I've practiced this enough. Hopefully it'll refill my ammunition immediately. If it doesn't, then I don't know. I'll have to go to the room every time, I guess. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, I'll be back with the victory. You'll, you'll see the whole fight, but I probably won't be talking. Poison as bright as you. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. Come on, Rick. Got you, bitch. Easy. That was the easiest boss fight ever. We are the guardian of justice. Priyuan mm -hmm. shall prevail. Mm -hmm. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been. And we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind. Mm -hmm. Your kind are the worst. Sure. <sighs> you hunted me down. I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. This is there true. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. 
Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. Hmm. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? <laughs> Fuck it. I'll make you one of us. No, kill me. Prepare yourself, hunter. You're allowed to be hunted, just like me. No, no. When I kissed my girl goodbye, I had no idea what I was doing, but now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judah. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> How did you talk with all that blood in your mouth? I shouldn't have done that. It was too fucking much not to, though. Welcome to the world through the looking glass. That sucks. What I just did to him was pure evil, but... Whatever. I don't know. Where are you, Swancy? Reach the Doris Fletcher's theater. What? Sounds without conscience. The guard of Prewin has abducted Edgar Swansea and brought him to their new headquarters. Inside the Doris Fletcher's former theater. Uh, I shall go there as soon as possible. And rescue my old friend. Alright, let's let's go rescue my old friend. Let's do that. Man, I shouldn't have turned him. Whatever. Just whatever, man. Just whatever. Okay, so that's over there. Alright, well, we know how to get there. Do the fire and the flames, baby. I shouldn't have turned him. That was a really dick thing to do. But you know what? He's a big... He's he's just a fucking dick. I was about to say he's a big dick, but... I don't know, man. If, if I'd say if he had one that was big enough, he probably wouldn't be this pent up and frustrated about everything in life. Then again, who knows? Oh, shit! Man, that, gu that gun really screwed him up. Suck you dare. Oh, the sound went fucking screwy there. I wanna get killed. I'm not I'm not fighting right. I'm doing bad smart unsmart things that are bad. That are also unsmart. I probably should have just rested, but you know what, I'll rest when I get place I need to go. Yeah. Not fighting right. I'm fighting like a maniac. Could you imagine if I lost the fight there and then... Oh, come on. Oh. Yes. Kill them. Kill them without my help. <laughs> Don't touch me. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can't touch this. Ugh. And everywhere's fucked. It's super bad around here. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Just nope. Oh my god, for real? For real. Are you kidding me? Two of you bastards? Nah, nah, bro. I'll take the long way. Me take the long way. Yeah, it's critical here. I wonder if I can get those other parts to finally. He's wearing a, he's wearing a Corona V ma uh, a, a Corona mask. Yep. I'm calling it that. I don't care. I'm calling it that. I need to find dude. Uh. 
I need to get some bolts. Oh shit. Uh I need rats too. This is despicable. Yes. Yes, we know. You won't let us not know. You just keep going on about it. You just keep going on about it. You keep going on about it. Oh my god, would you quit haranguing this man? Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need help? To be honest. Fuck. I'm sorry, dude. I will see you later. <laughs> to be right. honest, yes. Show me what you have. But what man in this world doesn't need help? I think that is actually enough. You are a godsend, sir. A godsend. Yeah. I try to get that first one up there every time, but it never works out. So let's go ahead and upgrade our shotgun to the final bestial form. I did upgrade a shotgun. I went legendary with that SLB, but it was already on epic. I just took it up to, to you know, gold. Badass, legend, orange, whatever you want to call it. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. And yes, we are going through the town each time. There's new threats. There's new things. There's... Oh my god, are you for real? Is this gonna happen? We gonna do this again? Hmm? We gonna do this again? God, I hope not, because if that's the case, then I'm gonna stop visiting places like this. Why don't I hook that up? You know? That's only 300, this... Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah. How can you blame the boy? It's weird. You know, I guess that'll do. Anyways, yeah. I put everything into Boom Boom. Yes. Okay. Let's see, can we do it? We sure can, Bobby. Could do that, but then we could just go with raw fucking power. Just the way I like it. That's the way I like my boomstick. <laughs> my boomer, my okay boomer stick. Should I level up? Now nah, we'll wait. We'll see what happens. We'll save our experience points for the theater, which is apparently what we're going back to, which kind of sucks. I have a feeling we're about to do the last boss, but I'm not sure. I am not sure. And the loading times. Oh yeah. I wish I had more time to edit videos. I just edit this for right out. But I honestly, I, I have enough time for barely myself these days. So it kind of gets old. You know how it goes. Come on. For real. It's just a district of England. Come on. Come on. Set in the early 1900s. Come on. Are we frozen? Okay. <laughs> I thought the game died. <laughs> Whitechapel sucks. It's a shithole. Especially when you're trying to load in. Pain in the ass. Now, what I've been doing in this game is what some people would call a pacifist run. I don't know about that. I've killed a lot of people. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I might have had already. But over here, if you open this, you get a ton of awesome upgrade parts. So, you know. 
It's probably something you need to convert to a legendary or upgrade at least a little bit of something. Fraternity wires. Uh. Okay, let's get out of here. <sighs> Just checking the map. Let's just see if we can sneak right up on this ass face. And Shabuski put the quadruple tooth to him. The sweet kisses of the night. How dare you turn away from them? How dare you? How dare you? You don't... Nobody turns down my kisses, though. No, nobody. Nobody turns them down. There's gotta be an army outside the damn door. Give me them sweet necks. Little shit machine, you come here. Change you like I change diapers. And I change them, damn it. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> I hope I can just walk right in here. That'd be handy. Guys, okay, good. I hope, hopefully the loading screen won't take forever either. Come on. Can't can it be Christmas? Come on, loading screen. Come on. Merry Christmas, right? Ho ho ho. Oh, peace on earth, goodwill towards man. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is their new headquarters, for real. Well, Alright, there's a pre one rookie and a pre one executioner. Which one would you kill? Neither. Got some nice little digs going on here. So what do I do? Just slaughter them all? I don't understand, Billy. Hey. Here he comes. Let me just throw the Shibuski bang on you there. How dare you. You little shit. Little Taco Tuesday punk. I have this thirst for blood. I have this tushed for bread. Brother. If I can just smack old whiskey bitch. Right up in the ass cheeks. Bam! I'm just making words and phrases up at this point. Oh yeah! It's a little protection from him not ever hitting me. These little bastards ain't got shit on me. But they're the little bastards, you know? The little bastards ain't nothing. It's the big bastards you gotta watch out for. They're tough.
Uh, Swansea baby. I see that you're in there, Swansea baby. I gotta get you out of there, Swansea baby. I might just name this episode Swansea baby. Maybe. Swansea. Swansea boy. It's hard. Little bastard. What the hell? Man, I get that you're a big, strong, strapping dude, but... But Jesus. Dude, you're the most... You're the worst. He is the worst. Like, I mean... You gotta be on your guard with people like this, man. Ouch. It's just time for you to stop, buddy. Just stop! <laughs> I mean, damn. These people aren't cool, man. The, I mean, okay. Now, the bosses are tough, but really, the main star... Ass kickers are those guys. These guys right here, the big doofuses. They are super, super crazy. Powerful. I don't even know how to put it. Can I go in here? It's locked, all right. Well, how the fuck do I get down there? Okay, thank you. I got shooty shotters. I forgot how to get down here. There's gotta be a way in. Hmm. I'm gonna use another rat. Or 20. I can't believe I'm doing this. Well, I can, dick face. You literally need to get over that, because that's your life right now. You little bitch. Okay. Cool. Uh... In here, but rope to hang yourself with when you inevitably can't find where you're going. And a dead end. Damn. My blood regen sucks donkey butts. I need to really beef that up with anything. That's what needs to be beefed up. How do I get to Swansea? I mean, yes, there's a door there, but that means nothing. Okay. I wish I could just call out to him like I'm playing Death Stranding or something. It's locked. Yeah, no shit. 
You'd think a vampire would be strong enough to fucking just... McCullum's report. Hey, McCullum. How you doing? 11618. I just finished reading Doris Fletcher's journal. As painful and dreadful as it was, my God, the woman planned to see everyone in London afflicted. By infecting all who could come to her next play, it helped me understand greatly what is going on. Doris Fletcher's real name was Doris Jones. Okay. She was the daughter of some Harriet Jones, who has been treated as a patient for a long time at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, shit. She clearly hated her mother. Duh but used her fame and notoriety to see her while visiting the poor and sick in the East End. I don't know exactly what happened then, but this is how her mother infected her before returning to the theater. And and how she turned into that monstrosity that the leech known as Jonathan Reed finally defeated. The presence of that vampire in the same hospital where Harriet Jones was treated can't be a coincidence. I am convinced he is deeply involved with the vampire plague going on in London right now. I am also convinced Swansea is his accomplice, and that those two are planning something more terrifying than anything the Guard has ever faced. Maybe I should take some time to read the old books and manuscripts the Guard still pro pro uh, possesses still possess to get some answer answers. It may prove useful. In the meantime, I better send some patriot patrols, I wanted to say patriots, to investigate about what is occurring at the Pembroke Hospital. 11 8, 18 It took me two days to parse through the dusty registers and books we keep in the vault. God, I hate losing time like this. The search did prove fruitful, for once. I found two pages that could be related to our present situation in a copy of William Marshall's memoirs. Hmm. I took them with me to read more carefully. This creature, Marshall says, he fought in 1666, this disaster that aimed to destroy London. It is very similar to what happened with Doris Fletcher. Disease, infection, hate of the living, a desire to see the city ransacked. I have no doubt now that the bloody old leech of William Marshall is behind all this, and that he is back. Damn. This could be our greatest accomplishment. If the guard could at last find and destroy that old bastard, I believe that Marshall did what Marshall did in 1666 is exactly what Reed is now trying to do. Did the creature, this disaster, escape their will? Is it why Marshall destroyed him in 1666 and Reed did the same with Doris Fletcher before she became such a creature? I don't know. But those two are clearly working together and Swansea is helping them. I will immediately give orders to have him arrested and interrogated. As for Reed, I'll destroy that evil beast myself, and then we'll deal with William Marshall and this disaster thing. Freeman will prevail once more. See, he cares Doris more about... Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close. What? Start having all the evidence. I did not press start. Apparently we're close to getting all the evidence. Okay, but, why is this man so, uh oh, now we can go, okay, I forgot I got a key, I guess that, I don't know, I have no idea, he's more worried about pre-win prevailing than saving London, in my opinion, so whatever, now he can save London for all eternity, unless he comes at me again, bro. I cannot enter. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh. Hey. Have you got a fucking flamethrower? No, he's got that green gas thing that fucks us all up. I don't feel like wasting my time with you. So I kill you now and not later. No, no. What you got there for me? Okay, okay. Okay, I can dig it. Some bullets. Okay, okay, okay. Anything else in here? Alright, Swansea baby. What is this? It's locked, alright. It could be in there. A whole bunch of people held up here for some reason. Alright, let's go. Swansea baby! Oh, Swansea's in there. He's been fucked up. William Marshall's Memoirs. The Brotherhood of the St. Paul stole 
finally agreed to meet in me in London. They proposed to meet inside the new Cathedral of St. Paul. I like the wit and sol solemnity, solemnity of these men. <coughs> Excuse me. What a symbol. To choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agreed to their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church and under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against this evil cre creature, the Dus Astro, the Eater of Stars. Is this Final Fantasy again? Or something? I only wish to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request. My burning desire to stop the blood of hate. The pri their primate uh, promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate... The primate? Primate? The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name. The Tear of Angels. According to him, this ancient artifact... Is that how you spell artifact? I don't think so. Could heal anything. Cleanse any blackened soul and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord. It took me more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate. But I finally have found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me the most, for time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But if that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes, I am ready to endure this excruciating pain. Blood of a pure heart. Garlic. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Hmm. Vampire Knight, new collectible. The Vampire Knight, William Marshall. Forget the legend about this man. The one most of you never heard of, you lazy bastards. Forget the empty tomb in Temple Church. Forget the death of those among us who died trying to locate him. We, the guard, know that he is still hiding somewhere. That's the only fact. We must keep in mind. Another small detail we must keep in mind. The little This little fucker is clever. How many times have we thought we had cornered him to finally only find old dust and cobwebs? Marshall has been a vampire for a thousand years. We're no match until we change our plans concerning this hunt. So here are a few questions for you lazy bastards. And I want all of them answered before speaking of another great hunt to pin this leech down. Who helped him escape his den under Temple Church? We know now for a fact that a private contractor was paid to move a large coffin from the church of a, year, a few years before we investigated the tomb. What exactly did the traitors of Brotherhood of St. Paul discuss with Marshall when they met in 1785? In London, the report of the meeting has been burnt, but witnesses remain of a request made by Marshall to access a specific book in the library. Why does the monstrosity known as Lady Blackwood seem linked to Marshall? They exchanged letters. She went in London to meet him in 1786. According to the Brotherhood spies, she tried to dis discreetly buy his castle in Wales in 1793 before fleeing when spotted by our fearless mentor, Kendall Stone. See the pattern here? What happened during these few years? Why such agitation and activity? Answer, those, answer these questions, my brothers. And you will find the path to our most eminent foe, William Marshall, oldest vampire of England to survive our righteous wrath. From Know Your Enemy by Carl Eldridge, Prewin Leader. Okay. All right, the plot thickens. I'm starting to think. It's uh, locked. I could be a lunatic. I'm starting to think William Marshall might be our sire, Pappy. I could be 100% wrong and probably... I am 100% wrong. I cannot enter. Why can't I get in? Dag nabs it. Swansea, baby, you in there? Of course he's in there. I can sense his life essence. Something vampires are good at. Life essences. Okay. Ooh. Edgar. Edgar, 
Can you hear me? Oh. Jonathan, is it really you? Assholes. I'm not feeling so Easy. bad about turning him now. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. I'm getting you out of here, but first I'm gonna put you in this chair and we're gonna talk. Have a little Don't chat. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. What? Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? Damn. They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position when I made him an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Not really. Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same monsters. I believe you. I trust you, Edgar. But the guard of Prewen is onto something. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. You want me to bring Colonel Volgan in here? He'll straighten your ass out. <laughs> Why accuse us of creating the epidemic? Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. About William Marshall. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is Prewin obsessed with him? Why is the guard of Prewin so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why wow, such a reputation? Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. Mm. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. You have some explaining to do, Swansea baby. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Doris Fletcher's real name. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Remember Harriet Jones? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes, the terrible episode came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Doris Fletcher got infected in Pembroke. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. 
Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother. A symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Don't you see the pattern? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. This is no coincidence, Swansea baby. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. Why? My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. That's nuts. I made a mistake. But what is science if not trial and error? We both know it, Jonathan. We both know it. Yeah. What a poor justification for your morbid fascination and thirst for glory. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. You know what, fuck it. We'll turn in Swansea too. <laughs> no, Edgar. You are not going to die. Oh. <laughs> Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? <laughs> I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, I, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. But it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Enough. I'm so bad. I don't want him to die though. You know? I don't want him to die. Okay, so we gotta take on the disaster, the 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 the, the last stranding. So so to say. <laughs> All right. Uh. Anyways, I really don't know where else to go from here. I guess we're just gonna save the next part for last. I don't know if it's gonna be the last. Swansea's gonna gonna sort of live 
I hated that he did that with Harriet Jones, but maybe he learned his lesson. I don't know. I just I just like changing people. I like turning them. I it's something about doing it that's just I haven't seen enough of it. You know, now I have. I feel like I've seen enough of it. And the next person I probably won't turn, but Swansea. I like Swansea. I call him Swansea baby. For God's sakes. I didn't even like McCullum. I liked him a little bit, but he pissed me off during the boss fight, and I changed him out of rage, anger. Um, and Aloysius was probably the hardest one to change because I literally had nothing to think about. Like, literally had nothing to do with him or to care about him. Anyways, let's read this letter before we sign off. Old love letter. London 12th, May 1912. My most exquisite friend... Everything is now ready for your journey to France. We'll leave you. We'll leave from Dover on the 17th, and we will spend this whole summer in Paris. I can't wait to taste all the delicate flavors the wonderful city has to offer, and I can't wait to try them all with you. Music, food, theater, architecture, perfumes, fashion, and you. Oh, what a delight it will be. I already wrote to some of my good artist friends who will be as delighted as me to see you on stage in French theater. Edmund Rostand should be there. I know you like his work very much, and I count on him to introduce us to the magnificent Sarah Bernhard. That would be the greatest achievement of my journey. I can't wait to hold you again in my arms, my sweetest delight, and drink again the source of your divine talent. Your devoted Calhoun. There we go. Yes, sir. There's Calhoun. Okay. I'm Spectral Star, and I'll see you next time. Oh my wamo. Kodoku. Shoot.